How did I market Denmark? Um, what struck me most about Denmark and marketing uh, was my time in, in Copenhagen, where I was so surprised at how much culture and architecture and history there was there to discover that I hadn't heard about. I was really struck by that. Um, especially in, in reflection of the fact that I had lived in Europe, in, Le in England, for eight years in the, in the 90s, and um, I hadn't heard anything about Denmark. So how would I market Denmark? I guess would be, first of all, to start. <laughs> Everybody treats you like you belong here. Nobody treats you like uh, it's a new place and you don't belong. So yeah, tr I'd market it as a very homely place, very friendly, homely place. These students, have together with 22 uh, students from the best schools of design all over the world visited Culling School of Design. The task was to find a vision for 2020, sustainable solutions for communication, for fashion and for transportation. You see, the design students have a specific gift. They live right now, but they have their minds in the future. So at the end of the camp, we asked all of them, how would you market Denmark? It seems like it's really safe here for, for tourists. And also the people seem to be really happy and kind of living in this fantasy world where everything is really beautiful. And it's like, I've, uh, now that I've been here two weeks, I've barely noticed like, anyone having any problems. It seems like everything runs really smoothly. One of the strengths of Denmark is definitely the, the fact that uh, people put so much importance in design. Uh, for me that's something which is really important. I think it's a really uh, beautiful country and I think that uh, it's uh, a country that uh, others can look at to take for examples of uh, how to save energy and use it efficiently. Um, yes, and uh, how else would I market it? Um, it's a very intense country. The people are very talented in what they do, uh, very passionate about what they do, and uh, I think uh, it's a place for anybody to come uh, from around the world. When I was uh, growing up and uh, doing primary school, uh, we had every fall we would have these little art projects about the leaves falling and chestnuts and spiders and mushrooms everywhere. But in the Netherlands you don't get those kind of romantic falls anymore. And one of the first thing I noticed was the fall here is really romantic somehow. All the colors and the golden leaves lying on the ground. So I thought it was, yeah, it, it gets me in a kind of dreamy mood. I really like the heart symbol that you use a lot, both on your coins and a lot of, a lot of um, things. And I, I, I will really make good use of this heart because it also stands for the hospitality and the friendliness of Denmark people. I think the great thing about Denmark is, um, from what I've gathered, that they're uh, actually very aware of uh, the environment and uh, the, the future of Denmark. And um, I like how from all those little things I see around the country, um, they really try to um, make a future that is, that is really bright environment-wise. So, yeah. The first thing is, of course, it's, it's very, very safe. The whole time I've been here as a tourist, I never had to worry about anything. Uh, secondly, I've had a lot of good food <laughs> while I was here, a lot of nice, fresh food and yeah, food is great. <laughs> First of all, the fresh, clean air here is absolutely amazing. Since I'm from Holland, uh, we have a lot of problems with air pollution. And just being here is, is just cleared up my nose and I feel a lot better. It's, it's very fresh here, it's a very natural environment. So if I would mar market Denmark, I would focus on some of the natural aspects. Also Copenhagen is a really amazing city. We went there, it, it reminded me a lot of, of the, the other European uh, cities, but it has a completely unique style of itself as well. And I wasn't aware of that before. 
it's a beautiful place that's filled of a lot of historical architecture, but you still see a lot of um, modernity around. And um, it's when you come here, you like amazed at how. Um, everything is so well put together and so well looked after and um, you always feel safe whenever you're here. <laughs> I haven't felt unsafe at all. I would market Denmark based on friendliness of the people and the safety. Uh, I found it to be far safer and far more friendlier than my own country. I would like to choose the word of freedom because in my opinion Denmark is a freedom kingdom. You can enjoy yourself here from classic style building to the modern shopping mall. So why not cho cho choose freedom to everybody? Well, I think they're quite strong on their design ethos. Um, I think there's something really quite beautiful about the simplicity of um, the objects you find around. Um, so I think that's probably a good place to start if you were to market it. Yeah. Was the architecture, the history, I really enjoyed the boats and the maritime culture of Denmark and the contrast of modern design and innovative thinking with a sense of history without, and the ability to sort of marry the two. Yeah, was sort of what marketing that would be effective, I think.